I am so excited to join you today because we're going to talk about one of my most favorite, favorite things in the world. And here's the thing. I know so many people tell you that you should not ever be delusional because when you're delusional, you don't get the best out of life. You live in a world that everyone else doesn't live in. And it's something that you should avoid at all costs. And today, what I'm going to do is go against that very notion and show you how to build and create an empowered life using delusion. Here's the thing. It is not enough for your life to simply look good. And I know, I know Instagram will fool you into thinking that how it looks is all that matters. And I am here to tell you that it cannot just look good. It has to feel good for you. I need you to do me a favor. Don't look to the left or to the right. Don't look to the left or to the right. This is completely and solely about you. And looking around is a distraction that quiets your own voice. And I need you to be very loud in your own ears. I want you to do this for me. And I want you to come on this journey with me. I want you to first, let's take some inventory. I love taking inventory. When I was a teenager and I was getting ready to go off to school, I worked for an inventory counting organization. And we would go into places, these huge stores, and we would have to count every single piece and item that was in that store that was available that could be sold for a profit. I want you to do that same thing. I want you to take a piece of paper, I want you to put it the long way and I want you to draw two lines in it, just two, just two lines. And I want you in that first column, I want you to list out every single skill that you have, every single skill that you know about, that you've used, that you've leveraged, whether you enjoy it or not is irrelevant at this point. I want you to write it all out. And then in that second column, I want you, and I know most people will tell you, don't look at your problems, but when you look at your problems, they magnify. And yes, that is true. But for these purposes, I want you to get super clear. What are the problems that every single one of your skills solves? I want you to write it out. Listen, we are going on a journey. And we, were, we are doing this together. So I hope you are writing this out. Now, I want you to write out every single problem that your particular skill set solves. For every skill, I want you to, to attach a problem to it. And then in that third column, that third and final column, because remember, we're not looking to the left or to the right or at anybody else. We are solely looking at ourselves because this is completely and totally about you. The only way you can use delusion to create an empowered life is to first get a clear depiction and idea of what your life actually is. All right. Now, once you've done that, I need you to do me a favor in that third column. I need you to write out every single job or opportunity, anything that you can be paid for using your skill to solve a problem. Now, I want you to take that. I want you to fold it up and I want you to keep it. I want you to keep it because here's what I want you to do with it. I want you to every single time you become afraid, you become scared, you become unsure, I want you to go back to that piece of paper and I want you to look at all of the skills that you have because every single person has value. That is a hard stop. But if you assess and determine your value based on your ability to, let's say you're not a surgical resident, but you assess and determine your value based on how well you can perform complex surgeries, you're going to feel as though you have no value. If a fish base its ability and its value on how well it can climb a tree, it will go its entire life thinking that it has nothing to offer the world. So I want you every time you become discouraged or unsure or unaware or just unclear, I want you to take out that piece of paper and I want you to take a look at all of the skills that you possess. And then I want you to take a look at that second column and then I want you to see all of the ways in which your skills not only bring value, but solve problems. And then and if ever you get discouraged and you feel it is time to transition and your soul is speaking to you and telling you that it wants and longs to do more, I want you to take a look at that third column. 
And when you look at that third column, I want you to see all the ways in which you can take what you are good at, what solves a problem and what also can provide resources to provide and build an empowered life for you. And then if ever you find yourself going through a transitionary period, I want you to build you a fourth column. That fourth column can be super small, super tiny. And in that fourth column, I want you to assign how you feel on a scale of one to five about each of those skill sets that you possess. When you identify how something makes you feel, you're able to more clearly define whether or not it's something that you want to do. Because here's the thing, yes, you will have to steer your own ship. We are not waiting for permission. But if, but if you are one who feels, well, I just, I need some validation. I need some, some permission, even though I truly do believe that validation is strictly and solely for parking. But if you are one who just needs that, it is okay. We can honor your needs. This is the permission slip that you're waiting for. Because a real one, one that you can hold is not coming. It is not coming simply because you already possess it. You took possession of that permission slip the day you took your first breath. When you first inhaled, when you first did a, when you came into the world, whether or not you like the person who brought you in here, the person whose body crafted and formed your body, to give your soul a place to live. When you inhaled, you accepted the fact that you are the master of your fate and you are the captain of your soul. And here's the thing about being the master and the captain of your soul, the permission slip that you're looking for, you already possess. But see, what has happened to so many of us is somehow along the way, somebody told you to be realistic. And in telling you to be realistic, it killed your instinct to go after what your soul knew and knows is possible for you. So I want you to be delusional. Be delusional about your life. Be delusional about your ability to create whatever it is that you desire. You truly can create whatever because you are a creator. And every single time you inhale, you that, that right there, that ability to breathe in, that is your soul reminding you of your creative ability. Don't tell me you're not creative because every single time you take a breath in, you are creating another opportunity for you to keep going. I want you to welcome delusion with open arms because it is a delusional for a girl who was born with rats crawling in her bassinet, entrenched in poverty, choosing abusive partners like choose like children choose candy would be the same girl who now radically loves herself and thrives in and on purpose who is built a life that not only looks good but feels even better and this ain't just a monolith because what I want you to do is I'm going to give you and show you how to create what I call your delusional blueprint we are going to yes and your life and we are not going to look to the left or to the right to determine our next steps. We are not going to look outside of ourselves. We are going to look inside. We are going to turn inward because looking for those permission slips is what will always cause us to falter. I want you to remember that every single time you take a breath and you inhale, and I want you to do it with me, inhale with me. Remember that that is your soul reminding you that the permission you're looking for already exists. And every single time you take a breath, that it is another opportunity for you to get even more delusional about the life that you can live and the things that you can do and your ability to create. 
So now this delusional blueprint looks a little something like this. There are three steps to do it in. Just three, because we not going, so we, we not making this deep, dark, or difficult. Number one, I want you to get bold and I want you to tap in. Get bold and tap in. I want you to create the grandest version of your life. This is not about what your mother said you should do, what your father said you had to do, what your grandmama told you that was necessary for you to carry on the legacy for your family. That is good and thank them for it. And now create the grandest version of your life. Who are you? What impact are you or do you desire to make? What are you experiencing? What are, where are you residing? I want you to get clear. How does your life feel? How do you feel living your life? I want you to imagine it in living, bold, beautiful, brilliant colors. What does your life smell like? What are you wearing? Who is there? I want you to create a vibrant image of exactly what that is. I want you to be able to look around at every aspect of your life. And I want you to be able to tell me what you are experiencing, what it feels like, what you are doing, and how you are, how you are enjoying this one beautiful, bold life that you have. I need you to remember that every single vision that you are creating, it is an energy. And that energy has a frequency. And the more you tune into that frequency, the more of it you get to experience. And so as you are building this beautiful, bold vision of what your life looks like, and you are defining what it smells like and what it feels like and what you are feeling like as you are living this bold experience, I want you to take that frequency, that feeling that you have. And I want you to give it a name because that feeling that you have, that delusion that you are allowing yourself to play with and enjoy and experience, that's called joy. That is the joy that your soul knows is waiting for you on the other side of your fear. And I want you to name your joy. My joy's name is Eddie. And every single time I become afraid or fearful, and I only look at my list of my skills and the problems that my skills solve and the jobs and opportunities that my skill set that I can build resources and, and, and build a life off of. And I don't I not only look at how each of those makes me feel, but I also call the name of my joy so that I can go back to the energy and the feeling and the frequency of what it feels like to live my grandest, boldest version of my life. Name your joy. And every single time you recall the name of your joy, every time I call the name Eddie, I get goosebumps because I know there is so much that is still possible for my life and I am just brimming with purpose and possibility and I invite you to do the same because now after you've created that vibrant image of yourself I want you to take everything that you have just imagined and I want you to yes and it and I know you're probably confused what is a yes and for those who have never done improv, when you're telling a story in improv, you don't get to stop the story. You get to yes and it when you're ready for the next person to pick up where you left off and to build and, and add to that story. We're going to do the same thing to your life. You got big, right? Excuse me, you got bold. You got bold in that, in that first one when we're creating that blueprint for building our delusional life, our delusional blueprint. You got bold. Now I want you to go bigger. 
yes, yes, go bigger. I know, I know that bold vision scared you a little bit. Now I want you to get even more terrified because I want you to go bigger. To be honest, being mediocre is actually harder than, than being brilliantly excellent because all the lanes are filled on mediocre lane. It's a car in every lane. But when you go for the bigger dream and go for the grander vision, there's a lot less competition because there are a lot fewer cars on the road because most people allow their fears to talk them out of their dreams. So I want you to yes and your life. Yes, and I'll be an international speaker. Yes, and I'll have brand deals in the millions of dollars. Yes, and I'll own 100 unit developments that help walk people out of poverty. Yes, and your life. And I want you to be delusional as you can about your ability. I do not care where you are starting from. I started with a rat in my bassinet. I was brought home to a shack that didn't have running water on the inside. I spent an entire year without running water in my home and six months without electricity. It makes no sense for where my life is now, but I have been delusional about my ability to tap into my creator position, to tap into the opportunity that, that, that inhale has gifted me. I want you to do the same. Your life can be brilliantly excellent if and only if you allow yourself to get delusional about it. And now for this blueprint, we've got one final step because I told you it was three. The first one was, I want you to get bold and I want you to tap in. The second one was take everything you just imagined and I want you to yes and it. And now this third one is, I want you to take at least one step, just one, take at least one step or one action towards what you say you want. Your one step is a signal to the universe that you are ready. It is the green light from your soul saying, I consent. And yes, consent matters in all things. Your one intentional step is the start of miracles and magic in your life because support can now come to aid you because you now believe what you've said and in what you envision. And once you believe it, nothing but death can keep you from it. Nothing. As long as you are inhaling, remember that is your opportunity. It is another opportunity for you to go after everything that you have imagined, no matter how delusional. And no, you do not have to be lucky for it either. Your belief in it simply has to trump your fear of it. And now I don't necessarily believe in luck, but I do believe wholeheartedly in energy. And every energy, like I told you before, has a frequency. So you will have to learn to tap into that frequency, naming your joy and reliving the feeling behind what you get when you imagine your most delusional, most empowered, most impactful life. And no, you cannot change what happens to you. You cannot. However, your actions and your energy can be used to create a life that works for you. I've shared a few secrets with you. And before I leave, I'm going to share my final secret with you. But first, breathe in with me. And then remember, delusion is simply the belief that all things are possible. Not some, not a few, but all. It is the unwavering belief that you, I, and we are enough. And within us is the power to create whatever you have imagined. I now invite you to get delusional about your life with me.